I'm Dan Aykroyd. In addition to my work as a writer and actor, I have also pursued a lifelong interest in the supernatural and the paranormal. Time, space, and matter are continually being altered in ways that challenge our four-dimensional world. This is the realm of Psy, events which defy conventional explanation. The following story is inspired by these subjects and is taken from the actual case files of the Office of Scientific Investigation and Research. off site i'm sorry sir but we're under direct orders to shut down operations and expedite the cargo to our base in newport asap yeah but that doesn't make any sense where's your commanding officer private dr mitchell could you please explain to professor axon here what's going on exactly what's to explain we're nearly finished the installation and then we're moving on who's professor axon i am from the osir is that the meteor fragment that's remarkable yes it is isn't it Excuse me. This vehicle is off limits to civilians. Yes, well, I'm not really a civilian. Uh, Peter Axon from the Office of Scientific Investigation and Research. My colleague and I are here to assist with the investigation of the meteor. Now, our mobile lab's about two hours away. Can't you wait? Out of the question. We're already behind schedule. We really should be leaving. Well, then you're going to have to make room for two more. What part of what I said didn't you hear? Please remove this man, Pratt. Impressive. Sorry, I can't help you, Professor Axon. What is your name, sir? Dr. Vancha. Dr. Vancha, uh, you've just read our authorization, sir. Unfortunately, we go where that rock goes, or I'll have to raise such a stink in Washington that you'll be labeling ice samples in Alaska, sir. You have 10 minutes to load your gear into the Jeep. Thank you. I'll take care of it, sir. I'll take it, Private. You know, I don't know what's going on here. No one will talk to me. Well, it's a bit of a change in plans. They're moving out with the meteor, and we're going with them. What? I get the feeling if we don't, we'll never see that rock again. Commander, you got your ears on? Absolutely. Do you like the view? Affirmative. Scanning now. Oh, yeah. We struck pay dirt, Commander. Excellent. Initiating phase two of our plan. As it is written. So it shall be done. And God help anyone who stands in our way. set up command. That was only yesterday. Why the big rush to pack up and get out of here today? Well, as far as I know, because we're all done here. Right. And the crater, it's up there? Yes, ma'am, up there on the ridge. From all accounts of the force of the impact, it must be spectacular. I couldn't tell you, ma'am. I was stationed down here at field base camp. I never went up the hill. Really? So you're telling me, like everyone else I've talked to here, you don't know anything? I guess so, ma'am. Because, like I said, I was always stationed down here. Private uh, Rivers. 
What's your first name, Private Rivers? Gavin, ma'am. Gavin. Good. Why don't you call me Lindsay? Gavin, you and I were on the same side here. So why don't you be straight with me? I'm happy to answer any of your questions. If I have an answer. OK. I understand. If your superior asks you to be hush-hush about certain information regarding this operation, you would do so. Is that correct? Orders are meant to be followed. There's nothing to see. Everything worth studying in the back of this truck. Private Rivers, slight change of plans. You drive Dr. Mitchell back in the truck to get to know our two visitors a little better. This is all the data you got? It's pretty skimpy. Why don't you tell us what's going on here? It's simple. The meteor crashed in this area a couple nights ago. We retrieved some rock fragments, and now we're transporting them off-site for more extensive analysis. And how do you account for the fact that it changed course? Changed course? NORAD tracked it all the way. And it also decelerated several times before impact. You ever seen a meteor do that? Can't say as I have. Furthermore, our satellite photographs at the crash site show no peripheral damage at all from the impact. I admit it was contained, however... And our witness accounts report an explosion that was heard over 10 miles away. See, that's why we're here. Some things just don't add up. Why don't you come out and say what you're thinking, Professor Axon? I'm thinking you packed up and left the event site too soon. That's not true. We just don't have the proper equipment here to do a complete analysis of the findings. So why don't you wait until the gear arrives? You're not telling us everything, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, why is it these days that when things don't add up, especially if the military and the government's involved, it must be a cover-up? A conspiracy. Look, I haven't accused anybody of anything yet. But it's not your run-of-the-mill meteorite. You're right. It isn't. Talk to me. You realize this is highly classified information. It appears that we have found fossilized bacterial organisms inside the rock samples. You mean evidence of another life form? Exactly. What planet do you think it's from? Good question. But with no traces of any iron nickel content, I can't begin to guess. It could be from another solar system. All right, I'm starting to get the picture. We may have discovered how life began on Earth. Or conclusive evidence of life on another planet. Yeah, I understand the implications of what you're saying, but from what I've seen, all you did was run a few simple tests. I'll let you see the remaining data when we arrive in Newport. It was conclusive enough Why that I... Why are you keeping information from us in the first place? Standard operating procedure. I'm sure you know all about that. Yeah, I hear you. Let's just go through it again when we get to Newport. I'm sure there'll be a rational explanation for any other questions you have. And you'll allow us access to the samples? Absolutely. From now on, both of you will be kept in the loop. Isn't it? Dried fruit, anyone? 
Who are you? Well, the government and their propaganda machines might have you believe that we, the purveyors of liberated faith, are merely men that have gone astray. I mean, look at us. Here we are, secluded, sequestered, high up here in the hills, our fenced-in compounds, our stockpile of arms, our five wives, our bomb shelters. Astray? No. Whether you like it or not, we are here to liberate you. PLF, they're terrorists. Now, who looks like they're in charge here? Ah, I believe you know what we seek. Look, we're just delivering some supplies to our base in Newport. I really don't, don't know what you're... Don't waste our time. Shh, shh, shh. Open the truck, please. Mm -mm. Allow me to cut to the chase. Open up the goddamn doors. Or we kill you, Carly. <gasps> what are you doing? Come on, give him the combination. Dr. Vance. Okay. Okay, let her go. Weapons, right? Take out the commander here. Dr. Mitchell, Lindsay, get behind me now. Please, cease this futile act of heroism. Otherwise, someone will get hurt. Shut up. Get her out of here. Now! Who is she? Our orders are to see that the cargo, whatever cargo gets delivered to Newport, it's a matter of national security. Just do it! This will not happen. Sure it will. Come on, let's go. I'm sorry, my friend. For as it is written. It shall be done. Come on, move it. Go, Peter, go! You might hit him. Get to the truck. Quick! Hurry! I must get her back.
does it, Doc. Welcome back. Poor stupid fool. Loyal until the bitter end. Why? Must there always be tragedy? I had to shoot him, Curtis. Why? So the soldier in you can rear its ugly head again? Look what's happening. Everything that you wrote in this book is coming true. Thou shalt not kill! She would not want us to proceed this way. I know. But every religion has casualties along the way. Curtis. Maybe she'll understand. Mercer. Take this body off the road. Put those two in the truck. And lock the door. Why did you do it, Dr. Mitchell? Why did you sell us out? I didn't sell you out. I'm liberating you. Get in. Get in! We have one priority. To find her and deliver her to the people. What about my partner? Get the door. your name? My name is Peter Axon. Peter Axon? We gotta get moving. They'll be coming for us. They? The militia. The military. As far as I can tell, neither one of them were the good guys. Come on. No, no, no! Damn! No, no, no! You may as well save your strength. You don't know what's at stake. It's imperative we get out of here. Would that have anything to do with your hidden cargo? You got him, but he's not dead yet. They're on foot. Notify the others. Listen up. We're presently in the southwest quadrant of the zone. Coordinate 66 degrees by 32 degrees. Cargo is now on foot, heading in what appears to be a northeast direction. Copy that. How is it that Axon and Donner are traveling with you? They're researchers with some investigative agency. And you chose not to warn us? I couldn't. They just showed up and they wouldn't back off. Curtis had no time she to... She should be here. Right now with us. This can't be wrong. Curtis. We can't let this opportunity pass us by. Now is the time for deliverance. Going again. Cargo is in the possession of a male who is wounded and should be considered a threat to the success of our mission. Use whatever means necessary to secure the cargo. Roger. Still like to know why they were hiding you in that truck back there. Fear? Fear. One of you? You're a healer, that's what you are, right? Just keep looking. Keep down, keep down.
left my partner back there. Her name's Lindsay. Lindsay? Yeah. Well, let's go. There is no way out. We're gonna have to wait for help. What help? The help that will come looking for us when we don't arrive on schedule in Newport. You don't seem to get it, Miss Donner. This mission was designated a level five classification. Nobody knows we exist. What about the soldiers back at base camp, the ones who saw us leave? Their orders are to forget we exist. What? You're serious, aren't you? Got a match? I owe you one. I just hope we aren't too late. Damn right you owe me one. Too late for what? Like I said, level five classification. What I can tell you is I recognize the leader, Dwayne Curtis. Military has kept tabs on him since 88, when he was suspected of small arms dealing and hemp farming. Right. He's the guy who wanted to make a 53rd state out of some land he bought in Idaho. That's him. We thought he and his group were a bunch of harmless nutbars. Guess you thought wrong. So why is he here? I want a straight answer, Mancha. Who's the woman? What is she? Sorry, Miss Donner. I'm under strict orders to complete this mission. Now, we gotta move fast to intercept her. But we were ambushed. Things have changed. What the hell kind of a mission is this? This is bigger than you, your colleague, the PLF, or anyone else could possibly imagine. the most dangerous being ever to set foot on this planet. It's pretty, isn't it? I remember now. Bright lights. And people like you. Looking at me. What do you mean, people like me? Scientists. Vanja Mitchell. My God, what did they do to you? I can't know. They put something in my head. No. No. Never seen a GPS tracking system like this before. You better not have. It's still in final stages of R&D at our Norfolk base. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Longitude, latitude numbers coming through. And there she is. They said this unit could locate anything anywhere in the face of the planet. So she's got a transmitter on her? Not on her. In her. In her? Angel, what are we dealing with? She's the 17th visitor of her kind in the past five years. But she's the first one we were able to subdue and control. So it wasn't a meteorite that crashed that night? Well, yes, it was. It just happened to be carrying a passenger. So she's an extraterrestrial, and there have been others before her. I lost six of my best men to one that resisted our um, attempts to communicate with it. Fried them into ashes with a mere touch of her hand. Her power is astonishing. You said subdue and control. How? She underwent several operations to install not only a tracking device, but more importantly, implants to block her memory paths. The implants took this time. But if she starts to remember her true purpose, then God help your partner. God help all of us.
What is it? What's happening? I was traveling. And I landed. Here somewhere. Carter Fridge, I knew it wasn't a meteorite. It was my ship. Do you remember your name? I am Ariana. Ariana, that's, that's nice. Peter Axon, why were you on the truck? You are not like the others. Um, no, Lindsay and I are, uh, we're just investigators. We were coming out to check out a, an unusual meteorite. I never expected to find anything like you. <laughs> You're a full-blown close encounter of the fourth kind. I can't wait to get you back to the lab, run some tests. You are like the others. No. I just meant... I know what you meant. I'm... I'm sorry. I feel pain. Help me. Get back to the ridge. I released an emergency beacon when I landed. My people will come here to rescue me. I must meet them. Please, Peter Axon. Bring me to the ridge, now. Oh, I'll get you there, I promise. Come on, come on, come on. You're still heading northeast, appears to be on foot. That means the PLF haven't found her yet. No, oh, Peter, please be all right. And what would the PLF want with an alien? I just know that she's a threat, but we need to get her back. Have you considered she's not hostile? She's an extremely dangerous biological entity, a weapon. A group like the PLF could use her and her powers to hold a nation hostage. And what would the military use her power for? It's getting worse. Oh, God, what did they do to you? You know, we often claim to have been abducted and probed by aliens. I never thought we'd do it to someone else. Get out. Keep looking. This way. There. Right there. Let's go. Looks like she's about a half mile east of here. She hasn't got very far. In fact, looks like she's doubling back. Doubling back to where? The crash site? If that's her point of destination, she may be going there to contact her people. Or escape. Either possibility must be prevented. Let's move it. Where is she? I don't know. But where could she go? She should still be helpless. Well, then she couldn't have gone far. Silver, sir. She must be starting to break down the neural implants. That's sooner than I anticipated. When was her memory supposed to come back? When we got her back to our compound. Safe. But now... Now she's been influenced by someone like me. How do you live with yourself? Doing all those things to her. Not science, it's torture. Mm. The operations, the implants. That wasn't me, that was Vanshaw's doing. The military's knee-jerk reaction. But we made it work for us to help fulfill the prophecy. Prophecy? <laughs> uh, she's the one, Axel who's going to lead us and our cause out from under the shadows this country casts upon us. As it is written, she is our God. 
Relax, Axon. You're not going anywhere. So the PLF wants her all to themselves. Can't be that simple. What's in it for you? Change. And like any new religion, eventually we would want the country and the world to experience her. But you, I mean, as a scientist, you must marvel at her incredible powers. I mean, don't you want to know how she does what she does? No. No, the how is not important anymore. Why don't you join us, Axon? <laughs> We could use someone with your passion. I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, my idea of revolution stops at contesting overdue library fines. Then you would just continue to fan the flames of the problem instead of being part of the solution. You want a solution? I'll give you a solution. Let her go. What makes a god, Dr. Mitchell? Surely it isn't you or I. She's disappeared. Oh, Ray, just... I don't know why this is happening. This is not the way. So stop this! Walk away! What you're doing is insane! Insane? Is that what you think we are? Madness is as voluble as a feather. It has no measurement. Every religion began with what the whole world thought was a bunch of lunatics worshipping something that scared the hell out of everyone else. When the Buddhists worshipped Buddha, it scared the Islamics. And the Christians with Christ terrified the Romans. And now we worship her. It scares you, doesn't it? So it is written, so shall it be. Be certain, my friend. She is the next messiah. So show me what's written in that book of yours. Come on, I want to see it. Does this say anything about her escaping from you today? Does it, Curtis? I didn't think so. Curtis! Enough. She's gone, Curtis. She's not coming back. Where is she, Carrie? You said you were certain she would return for him. I don't know. We're staying in one place too long. We should keep moving. Maybe this just wasn't meant to be. Don't say that. It will be. Kneel down. Neil! We are the purveyors of liberated faith. Faith does not need to see to believe. Faith will know the way. Liberation. Liberation. Now go. Sweep the area. You'll find her. We must find her before they do. Yes, sir. Who's they, Curtis? The military, they. The church, they. You and your scientific investigators, they. You know what they want to do? They want to probe or test or investigate her. Sound familiar? Before the rest of society even gets a chance to see her, experience her. And you know what they're going to do? If she doesn't fit into their modifications, they're going to destroy her. Maybe you should include the PLF they in that group. You want me? Now I stand before you. Ariana. It's okay, Peter Axon. I know my true purpose now. I want to embrace you, my disciples. Take you and hold you like the flowers grow on this earth. Let me share my knowledge with you. Yes. Blessed be the word, for it is written, and it shall be done. <laughs> Ariana, no! <laughs> she 
You're still breathing. You could have killed them. I know. The implants must be interfering with my true purpose. What is that, Ariana? I think I'm, I'm only an explorer. <laughs> Peter, Axon, help me. Come on, come on. It's moving again, we gotta hurry. Keep looking. Curtis. What's happened? We're almost there. I can help. I can help you. Come on. We're almost there. Oh my god, more implants. Ariana. Ariana. You healed me. Can you heal yourself? I don't know. Just like you took the bullet out of my chest. Can you remove whatever it is they put in you? I cannot. I cannot. Where's your ship? Why aren't they here? Time stands still. You will know they have come. There! Don't give us away. My priority is my partner's safety. I need to get her back to find out how she works. The Department of Defense is counting on it. And what if she doesn't want to go with you? Termination. There is an explosive device in her stomach. Peter! Get away from her! They've implanted her with explosives! The band has got the detonator! What? Why would you do this? I have my orders. And I don't like to leave things to chance. You should understand my point of view. Hand her over, Axon. She's more of a threat to our planet than you will ever know. Why? Because of her powers? Or because she comes in peace? Both. What are you so afraid of? I'm afraid of nothing. Our society is afraid. The collective whole fears what we don't know or can't understand. So it's up to people like me and my superiors to decide when the masses are ready to experience something like you. Turn her over to me, Axum. The lab in Newport is standing by to run more tests. I've been watching this place for some time before attempting to make contact. Your people showed such potential. For your safety, I will go. He does not know what he is saying. No. Ariana, no. Stop! The traitor returns. A detonator? I knew you weren't telling me everything, Vancha, but I never thought you'd stoop to this. Put it down. Not on your life. Do what she says. Drop your gun. Or I'll start the timer. One more time, Vansha. Drop it. No! Peter! How do you stop this thing? I don't know. Oh. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Please forgive us.
Lindsay, get back! No! Just do it! Not without you! Go, Peter Axon. There's nothing you can do right now. Leave me. No, no, it's not gonna end like this. Go. Save yourself. Take him! Peter, come on. Look, there's no time. Just get out of here! Ariana, we do have potential. And it's not going to end like this. Venture said with this unit, you could track anything, anywhere. But only on the face of this planet. <laughs> Case manager's log, Peter Axon reporting. As a scientist, rule number one is seeing is believing. And I've come to learn that that's a good rule for the lab. But sometimes the world of scientific fact may not tell you what you want to hear. Instead, you might just have to believe in order to see. Axon out. There are credible accounts throughout history suggesting that we have been visited by beings far more advanced than us. Some suggest these species assisted the Egyptians in building the Great Pyramids and the Aztecs in constructing their temples and that these otherworldly visitors are the legendary gods of many ancient civilizations. For Psy Factor, I'm Dan Agnew.